guys, today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me a wedding shower. It's the first wedding shower I've ever gone to. I'm at that age now where they're starting to happen. It's a little bit scary, but this one was tons of fun. Just getting started with my L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation and the L'Oreal Nude Foundation. I'm a little bit more tanned than normal, so that nude foundation is great because it's a little bit darker. Then I put on my NARS Creamy Concealer, and then in keeping with the NARS theme, I'm putting on my Smudge Proof Primer. Amazing if you have oily eyelids. Then another great oily eyelid uh, thing that I talked about in my recent favorites is the e.l.f. Smudge Pot in Back to Basics. Perfect for giving your eyeshadows a little bit more oomph. And I'm using the e.l.f. eyeshadow in the shade Enchanted. Gorgeous as an eyeshadow and it's also really great as a highlight too if you're like medium to deeper skin tones. Then I'm just uh, running my bronzer through the crease of my eye. Just a really, really simple eye look. This was kind of like a fancy tea party themed bridal shower. So I didn't want to look too done up, but I definitely wanted to look, you know, classy like I was part of the royal family or something. Getting into my brows now, I am using the Anastasia Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. Everything will be listed down below. And I've started kind of sculpting my eyebrows a little bit more, adding a little bit more arch and uh, making them a little bit longer. And I have really been loving doing that. I love a good long, strong brow. So I'm just kind of blending that out. And I really like to blend out the uh, first portion of my eyebrows with my fingers, and then using the Rimmel Nude Liner to highlight uh, under my eyebrows as well as my inner waterline to really brighten up my eyes. Then uh, for highlight, I went pretty highlight crazy. I'm using MAC Vanilla Loose Pigment. So I put it inner corner of my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, as well as top of the cheekbones. Then on to a blush, I'm using my The Balm In Stain Blush. And then onto eyeliner, I just wanted to do a really thin liner. I knew there was gonna be a lot of pictures taken and I find eyeliner really helps make your eyes look more elongated, makes your lashes look longer. And I'm using a paintbrush. I picked this up at Walmart for I think $3. And it's great for getting a really, really thin line and I'm using my uh, gel liner from Essence, which is great. That's super, super cheap and it's nice and long wearing, really, really black and it's waterproof as well. And then I'm using my IT Cosmetics Tight Line Mascara, tiny little brush, but you can really get in there and it adds uh, a little bit of extra something, something to your lashes. It is kind of like a waterline. This tool I got on Amazon because I suck at putting on mascara. It uh, was like $3 and it just kind of protects your uh, eyeshadow look from getting mascara on it. Blotting my face with a little bit of tissue paper, wiping off my lip gloss, using my favorite ever lip liner from Makeup Forever. I love these lip liners. This one is in the shade 14C, so it's a really nice pinky shade, so I filled in with my lips with that, and then a little Wet n Wild Just Peachy to add some dimension to my look. That is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Samantha Jane YT. See you next time. Bye.